everyone, welcome to my Dollar Tree haul. And I have four bags. I have food for the home, beauty, don't have any makeup included in that though, and electronic accessories. So I'm going to start with the few things that I have that I would consider under like the beauty category, I guess. And the first thing is the Essie. And these are the Glam It On. I didn't get these in my, when I got the Essie nail stickers because they didn't have this design. And this is the one that I have really been wanting and I just like that. It's just really nice and classic, I think. So hopefully you can see that one. Good. So I got that one. Um, these are just my all time favorite cotton rounds. They are by the Assured brand, and I love them, and I'm not going to buy them anywhere else but Dollar Tree because those are the best in my opinion. Um, I got this for my son. I'm very hesitant about trying Dollar Tree brands for his um, skin, but because the one that he's using right now is really not helping him, it's more like bringing... He's doing, he's using a face wash right now, and at first it was doing, I thought it was doing good, and now, no, it is not. But, I thought we would try these. These are the Acne Free Skin Care Treatments Astringent Toner Pads, 2-in-1 Dual Action, Unclogs Pores Help Prevent Breakouts. So, I thought that we would give these a try and see if they help his skin at all, and... If these do not help, it says they have 2% salicylic acid, glycolic acid, vitamin B3, and aloe. If these don't work, I'm not buying any more products to try from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to Walmart or the drugstores and see what I can find for him there because I, it's not worth it and some of the chemicals are really bad in those too. This is the Ultra Bright Cool Mint anti-cavity anti fluoride toothpaste and this one has baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste it deep cleans your teeth and we like this toothpaste this is like become our new favorite so we are definitely going to keep buying that and that was just you know an extra one now I think I'm going to go with the electronic accessories. Okay, the first thing, I'm glad that I watched No Guts, No Glory because I bought these before I watched her video, but um, they're electronic wipes and she said that they're really good and she, she was making a repurchase in her haul. So, I'm glad I got picked these up because these are really expensive at like Walmart and places like that. I think they run between like $10 and $15. So, if you can get them for a dollar and they work good. They say they work on televisions, computers, cell phones, tablets, and more. And I'm excited to give these a try for my electronics. And I picked up this. I saw one day... When me and my aunt went, I think it was back in the summer we went to the Dollar Tree, I had showed her these gala, gala bags um, for her GPS because me and her both have the same GPS, but instead of, I didn't pick myself up one for whatever reason. I think she picked up a lavender color and I was just going to, I didn't get it, I don't know why. I like I think lavender is pretty and purple is pretty. But for whatever reason, I didn't get it. I like this color better, actually. This is the light gray. This is for your GPS. And I'm going to use it for my GPS because I just throw my GPS in the glove box. And this is really nice and it can protect it from getting scratched and stuff. So, I got one of those. And I also got the cell phone cases that other people have picked up. They're cell phone hard cases. So, I guess I will start with the Chevron. So, I have the 5S phone 
the iPhone. And I got this blue chevron pattern. I got the black. And I think what I'm going to do is like glue something on here and like customize it for my phone. And I got the green chevron. And then I got just a plain black. And this, they have holes in there where you can feel the texture. And this one is, it's plastic, but it's not, it's kind of soft a little bit. I don't know, that's, so I got plain black. And this one I thought would look really nice because I have the gold phone and it's like a, this is a soft grip. And this pattern is, I don't, I forgot what this pattern is, but it looks like that. And I thought it would be cool because the gold can show through. And I have like the white phone with the gold on it. So I thought this would be nice. I know this is going to get dirty quick probably. Especially since it's the soft grip case. Then I got some of the, they're called durable cases. And they have like the rhinestones in them. And I thought this color was really pretty. It's like a teal color. So I got that color. And I got black because they have pink, but I didn't get, and I think they have purple and a blue. I didn't get any pink this time because I have a lot of pink stuff, too much. And then for my Samsung Galaxy S3 case, I just got this one. I have the white one of that, and I use it like as a tablet pretty much. But... This one is cute, the white with the black polka dots. And I figure they are, the white ones, they're just a dollar. So, you know, if they get too dirty, I'll just throw them in the garbage. <laughs> so, I guess I'll do food. So, I got this chunky chicken noodle soup by Hanover. I don't know how these are going to taste, but I'm just going to give them a try. And... I saw another lady haul some chicken and dumpling, chicken and dumplings, but I don't think it was this brand. She told me they were not delicious, so I think it was a different brand. But I decided to try these Comfort Creek Foods dumplings. They're called dumplings and chicken, but I call them chicken and dumplings. And some people call them different things like pastries, chicken and pastry or Christmas noodles. I've heard them be called so many different things, but my grandma used to make these homemade. I don't know how to do that, of course. I'm not the best cook in the world, but I miss her homemade chicken and dumplings. She rolled the dumplings out and cut them and all that, so. And I love them. They were delicious. And these I got for my son. He loves these. He we don't get these a lot, but he used to love these a lot, and he wanted to have, try them again. Yoo-hoo, chocolate and drink. Then we got some blow pops, and we got some Tootsie Rolls. We had I had got the chocolate Tootsie Rolls, and somehow my son took them out and put the fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls in there. So, I don't know what happened there. We also got the Brim's Cheese Balls. And we got the Cotton Candy Suckers. That everybody's been getting lollipops. And they were really good. I had one. And we still have some of those. And also, my son got the Hershey's Kisses. And I got the Cookies and Cream Kisses. So, those are not here because we took them out of the bag before I did the haul. So, Gummy Krabby Patties Candy. This is for my son. He's always loved those. And then, I used to love these also when I was a kid. And these are the Cracker Jacks. I love caramel popcorn and the peanuts are really good in here too. The prizes are not all that, but when I was a kid, I loved the prizes. And cereal and those, I used to pour all of it out just to take the prize. I'm pretty sure other people did that as well. And then for home, I guess, I got these to try, the light bulbs. And these are by Greenlight. They're 60 watt 
bulbs and I'm just deciding to try them. I don't know, save up to $103. Maybe on your energy bill. Yeah. Estimated energy costs $1.57 per year. I decided to try these and see how well they work. And two for a dollar is not that bad. And then, I wasn't going to get any of these candles because the M&M candle, you know, you have to put it in like a small room. And I think these are like similar. But when I saw watermelon, I love watermelon scented anything. And I did try the watermelon lemonade um, candle from Bath and Body Works. And it was just, the lemon was too overpowering. So, I like just the lemon, I mean not a lemon, just a straight watermelon scent. So, I'm going to try this one. Maybe it will burn in a, you know, like a, a larger area, but if not, I'll burn it in my back, in the bathroom. But I had to try that because of the watermelon scent. I got some soap, and this is the Dow Spring Water Antibacterial Deodorant Soap. I wish I would have. I didn't know that it was antibacterial. So, no. I don't like antibacterial soaps because of that chemical tricolocarbon. I think that's what it is. It starts with a T. Yeah, that's a really bad ingredient. I heard it can, it's like, it can cause breast cancer. I'm not sure. Do not quote me on that. But I, that's why I don't like the antibacterial soaps. When I was watching Fab TV, she talked about putting, she put these in her closet in her car. So I got this for my car. And this is the Lavender and Chamomile Air Freshener Crystal Beads. So I'm going to put this in my car and see how it works. She said it worked great in her closet and I don't, I think she said she put it in her car also. I got some gloves. I like to use these disposable gloves. They're by Scrub Buddies for preparing food. I don't like to touch meat, raw meat. And then this is the Scrub Buddies vinyl gloves. So these are good for cleaning and things. Oh, I'm showing the back. I got some clear tape. I'm going to try this and see how it works. I have one of those um, tape guns like they use at the post office or at warehouses. And I used to work at a warehouse, so I am like skilled at taping boxes. But we're going to be moving in the next few months. So, I got some tape because I'm excited to move. And then I got this tape for a Christmas. I'm doing a secret Santa. So I got this to wrap the box with. These are like kind of decorations for pumpkins. So instead of carving the pumpkins this year, we're just going to have one side of the pumpkin like that, like a Frankenstein. And these are like the pieces that you get. And that is what it's supposed to look like. But you know, you can be creative and do it the way you want to. Then this one is like a pirate looking pumpkin. We're going to do this on the other side. Or maybe we'll get two pumpkins. So that's what the pieces look like. See how well these hold up. That's gonna be cute. And then I don't know if I'm gonna put this how this decoration this Halloween or save it for next Halloween. But this is some cotton twine. It looks like that. Um, I wanted something for the mantle because I didn't like the leaves with the haunted village or like the Halloween village. So I want to use this and I want to use some of these night creatures. They're like skeletons kind of.
for the mantle, I'm going to like glue them onto this twine and, you know, put it on the mantle. So if I don't use it this Halloween, hopefully next Halloween I'll have a mantle so that I can do it, do the string this across. Okay, and the last things are for the Christmas Village that I got last year. I don't think I have any of these, hopefully. But this is one of the things. I got, I'll, I think I have the whole collection of the houses. But this is just some moose or deer. Reindeer, probably. And the little squirrel. Okay. And then the ice skating rink. Then this is like a little fence. Our entryway. And I love the little birds. And these are like little red cardinals or robins. No, wait. Are robins red or blue? I think these are cardinals. But how cute. I want to find some bird ornaments for my Christmas tree too. And then these are like a husband and wife or a boyfriend and girlfriend. Since they look like Victorian, I'm pretty sure they're either married or engaged if they're like hugging each other. And then they have, they're sitting on like a bench with some presents and a little Christmas tree. That's pretty detailed for the Dollar Tree. These are really cool. And the last one is this Christmas tree with a lady climbing up to the top i think she's streaming lights and then someone down below streaming lights also so they're both streaming lights on the christmas tree so there she is climbing the ladder and then there's the man down below and there's the christmas tree my son really liked this one so that is all that I got for my Christmas village to add on. Hopefully I didn't buy duplicates of those, but I, I probably should have checked what I had, but I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those. So we will see <laughs> dear at Christmas time or in December when I'm decorating. And that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.